go. Good day, everybody. I want to say peace and love to everybody out there. I hope everybody is warm and getting kind of cuddly out there. So I want to share some information to you that I have came across that I think everybody should know. Now, they say Christopher Columbus discovered America. Biggest lie out there. And let me tell you why. Christopher Columbus came to conquer the resources of America in the Holy City. If you look into his book that's called Christopher Columbus Discovered America, it clearly states that he wasn't coming here to discover the land. It's for the resources. If you look through the history where Christopher Columbus comes from, it was a Spa in Spain and he had an Englishman also on the boat with him. Where they were coming from, people were dying from famine and the plague. So they needed to find an escape route and somewhere else to go. Now, Christopher Columbus just didn't come here by chance. They came here with the help of the Moors. Also, when the Christopher Columbus came with the help of the Moors, the Moors directed him here, and when he came here, he found natives. Now, I'm not talking about the natives that you see that look Asian and Chinese, because that's not the real Asians. But you say, everybody's promoting them. That's because, you think about it, U.S. government has a contract with the Chinese, so they can do whatever they want, and you would never know. So, let's go breaking it down, little by little. So, when Christopher Columbus came up here with the Moors and his concubine to help him translate, he earned the trust of all of the natives. Now, the natives have never seen a white person before, so they were thinking it was something new. They used to people of color, as what you call black and African American, coming over, fighting against each other, whatever else, but here's the thing, they were never really black and African American, they were native. So I found something that I think would be quite interesting, interesting to you guys. Um, so I had help from my husband, Roger, Roger, we came across this article, that was posted by the, on Friday by the Harbor Journal, no, it says Friday, Harbor Journal, on Thursday, April 1st, 1971, it's called Washington, the White Man Massacre. Now, now listen what she says, she says, Washington, not Washington, Washington, look how they changed the name though, and here it is, just they changed the name, you think we lying about it, I can't Article. see, slow it down. Hold on, make it back up some. See it? It's kind of hard to see it on the camera, but yeah. Still hard? Yeah, but yeah, we got it a little okay. bit. Alright, so I want to read this article to you that tells you that pretty much that the nails was here first and why you don't hear too much of them or what happened. Now my question is, who are these native indigenous people? Hmm. Who are these native indigenous people? Deep question, right? Ask yourself this, right? No. Now listen to this. She's about to drop some jewels right now. Since the White Man Massacre in November of 1847, the cause of the massacre has been debated. It did not have been it did not have the characteristics of a normal massacre. Only 14 of 72 persons at the missions were killed and none were scalped. The Indians had complete control of the whites after the first few minutes of the fight and could have killed everyone. Now ask yourselves, 72 Indians had complete control of the whites after the first few minutes and could have killed everyone. 72 Indians! Now, they ain't, they ain't even get to the, the whole million Indians that, that could have took and took them out, but 72 Indians were killing them, killing them off. Imagine that. So, and, and you weren't about, you weren't about, they taking over us with their master truck and weapons and guns and stuff? Look at that, 72 Indians was about to bury them, dog, bury them. Keep it going. So, then it says, there have been several years of warning Dr. Whiteman had been warned time and time again that last few time before the day before the attack. 
the American Board of Missions meeting on the East Coast five years before the massacre had instructed Dr. Whiteman to pose his mission into a more productive area. Now, the doctor did not agree with the board and went back east to protest their decision. While he was gone, the Indians burned his flour mill and Miss Whiteman spent the winter in Dallas because of the hostilities expressed by the Indians. Upon his return, he did not agree to move the mission in the spring of 1848. Now, mind you, this is only 2016, so this stuff happened a lot recently than what you think. Well, that's what they say, 2016, but we're living in a parallel time. That's right. You feel me? That's what they say. That's what they tell you, that it's 2016, but it really ain't. They flip the year up, they transfer everything, they move everything around. That's right. Keep game. There were many factors that could have been responsible for the massacre. The differences between the Catholic and the Protestant viewpoints and their methods of operations contributed. They were considerable in building between the two groups which set Indian against Indian. So they set everybody against each other. Oh yeah, they had it planned out. They were, and listen how she said, listen how she said, she didn't say they found America. It was a mission. A mission. A plot from the beginning. It, it, it was a plot from the beginning. They knew America was here. It was a mission. Let's go. Okay. The introduction of a religion in conflict with the previous taught, the presence of two sets of religious teachers denouncing the teaching of each other, and the practice of the protestant mission of encouraging white settlers to come west and take more of the Indian land all led to bad feelings. Mm. The mission schools sent bright young Indian lads to East to finish their education. When they finished their education, they returned to the West. Oh, pause that, pause that, pause that. Did you just hear what he said? They took young Indian, young men, women and children, and put them in their schools and started teaching them mm -hmm. their knowledge. And they came back to their land telling them how bad they treated them there. Let's get back to the action. Okay. When they returned to the West, they told of the bad treatment of the Eastern Indians, the small reservations and resulting discontent, and warned all Indians to resist the advance of the white man, or he would take all of their land and fence them in on reservations. So that means what they pretty much just did is that if they followed the white man, he would put them in reservations. Take them from your own land and put them where they want you to be. Mm -hmm. So their words were reinforced by the large migrations of 1840s. Also, the immigrants brought many who were sick with them and smallpox, measles, dynasty, and cho cholera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Hold up, so now they brought people that were sick with them, immigrants, okay. including them. They were sick as well. Now, what it don't tell you is Indians, and they, they didn't have no diseases. Indians didn't have no diseases until they brought the immigrants over here. Of course, because everything was natural resources and organic. That's right. Now, listen to this. It was quickly passed into the Indian tribes, causing the death of thousands of Indians. Best way to win the war is to cheat, right? Mm -hmm. They just showed you they couldn't beat us on their own, so they had to cheat. Oh, yeah. They had to make us sick so we couldn't defend ourselves. And that's the rest of this. Dr. Whiteman cared for the Indians, but... Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Now, who was Dr. Whiteman? Right. Dr. Whiteman. Who was this Dr. Whiteman? Hmm. Now, this Dr. White, man, they say he tried to care for the poor Indians. No, 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 that's the hijack. Mm -hmm. That's the hijack. Back to it. Back to it. That's right. By old Indian customs, a medicine man forfeits his life to the kin of those patients who die. Further, the Indians believed they were being poisoned by Dr. Whiteman's medicine. Woo! You heard that? Mm. They say they believed they were being poisoned by Dr. Whiteman's medicine. But mm. check this out though, the same thing they doing today, poisoning us with their medicine and everything. That's right, that vaccinations, even from thing. when you were a baby, everything, everything, everything you eat, 
everything, I mean, it, um, it's like, it's like this. Check this out. Everything has poisonous that tears up your frequency in your body. You must eat healthy. That's right. Back to the action. They have seen that Americans use poisoned meat to kill wolves. Woo! So, damn! So. You heard yourself? They killed the wolves too! Hell yeah! Think about it. You said not here, you wonder why you don't see half the creatures you only see in certain places? Because they killed them all. They yo. Poisoned them. Yo, we, we live out here, right? And we really, we really don't see too much of nature anywhere for real. Like, the wolves, most of them gone off. The bears, most of them gone off. I mean, we've been to Zion. We've been to Oregon. Texas. Texas. Mexico. California. Arizona. Everywhere. We'd have been there. Been to Zion. Been out in the desert. Stayed out there. Did it. Lived out there. Mm -hmm. You know? And we actually seen the big tree stumps. All the big houses that we used to live in out there. Super yeah. big, man. Like beautiful. Super big. Super beautiful, man. Like like the only way you can tell us you go there for yourself and see it. If you go there for yourself and see it, you can be like, whoa. Damn. I can't believe this, yo. This is the land we used to live at. That's right. But some people are so scared to go out to nature. They're afraid that, oh my god, the bear's gonna get me. The wolves gonna get me. The lion's gonna get me. Man, I'm animals scared than you, then you scared of them. They'll run from you before you run from them. That's right. Okay. Back to it. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go back to this one a little bit. They have seen the Americans use poison meat to kill wolves. And all knew of the story of Duncan McDougall. Now, who is this Duncan McDougall? Look it up. M C D O U G A L L. Look it up and let us know what you find, alright? Who had called the chiefs on the Colombian together in 1811 at Astoria. He took a small file from his pocket and told the Indians it contained smallpox. That's all he had to do to release it among them and was to take out the court. Now, pretty much, you can see from yourself, and you can hear from yourself that this didn't happen that long ago as they say it did. Mm -hmm. And as you can also see, they cheated to win. Mm -hmm. Now ask yourselves, right? What could possibly be so bad about this group of people that you come and attempt to conquer that you try to wipe them out? And when you think about it, it's not that they were bad. It was that they had something that they couldn't have. And because they couldn't have it, they felt like they had to take it. You know, just a little history on your head, you know, so you could really sit down and think about it. You know, think about the natives. Think about what's going on. Okay? It's more to the story than what you really think. I encourage everybody to go out there, research, find out on your own, look it up. Don't let them hold you back and tell you you can't. Stuff has been silenced for too long. It's time to come out. Mm -hmm. Peace and love. Peace and love. Shout out to King Drop for real, man. Definitely, man. Yes. Shout out to Hair Hair. Lex Will. The Supreme B, you know. All you guys. We love you guys. Thanks for the motivation. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Peace and blessings. Peace.